Hi everyone, my name is Bam Yusuf. Today we are going to be talking about a tribe called Banyankole. This tribe is from Uganda. Uganda is, the, is in the eastern part of Africa. In Banyankole culture, a girl must be a virgin until marriage. If a boy is meant to marry a girl, it is cultural in this Banyankole tribe. Now the aunt of the girl tests the sexual capacity and capability of the boy before he is allowed to marry. Come along and let's talk about this tribe. Marriage in this culture is of great importance as parents derive joy and pride from their children's marriage. According to the Banyankole tradition, when a girl gets to the age of eight or nine, it is the duty of the aunt to groom her for family life. Additionally, the Ankole people consider a slim physique unattractive. So when girls get to the ages of eight and nine, they are required to go through the fattening process. This is usually done to speed up the weight gain of the girl so they can attract a husband. Most importantly, virginity in this culture is held in high regard. So, the girl must abstain from premarital sex. If a girl is found in Banyankole tribe not to be a virgin before marriage, she is to face a death penalty or ostracization from the society. At the groom's home, there is also a feast to consummate marriage. But there has to be one last traditional ceremony, a ceremony that involves two tests. These two tests must be carried out by the bride's auntie who actually groom her for marriage life. Since virginity is the marriage standard for the girls of Banyankole tribe, the Banyankole marriage involves several ceremonies, including giveaway period known as Kuingira. I'm sorry if I do not pronounce that well. Kuingira is where the relatives and friends of the bride present her with goods such as cows and other food items to take to the matrimonial home. The two tests that we are talking about will be, would be carried out by the aunt of the girl that is about to marry. The aunt will have to sleep with the groom-to-be. Sleeping with him means having sexual intercourse with him. During this act, the aunt will learn all the sexual tricks as well as the favorite style of the groom-to-be. Having learned all of this, she will now pass the information to her niece, whom she will teach and relate to how to satisfy her husband sexually. Then, after 10 days, a ritual called Okukoza Omuriro is carried out. The ritual involves the bride lightning a first fire in the new kitchen. On the wedding day, a feast is organized at the bride's home where the father is to slaughter a bull. After this feast is done, then the marriage is consummated. That means marriage has come into place. This culture is practiced in the Bantu kingdom of Ankole in Uganda. Ah, that is that about this beautiful tribe in Uganda. So, let me know what you feel. Uh, I'll be waiting to hear from you from the comment section. What is your feeling about this culture? And do not forget, whenever you are dropping any comments, make it polite and decent because Culture is culture. What is right to you might be wrong to me and vice versa. Until I come your way next time.
do not forget anyway to like my video share it and if you are here for the first time do me the favor of subscribing to my channel my name is bam yusuf bye